woman. Same-sex marriages will be allowed in Rhode Island as of August 1st. We are still waiting to learn the identity of the body found in Providence Tuesday afternoon. ABC6 reporter John Geis is live at the Providence Police Station where authorities are looking into whether the body belongs to missing university student from Brown, Sunil Tripathi. John? Good morning. The Tripathi family has used every resource available to locate Sunil and has always believed he's still alive. Today, questions about his disappearance could be answered. Now, police say that the body matches the weight, age, and height of Sunil, but an autopsy won't happen until today. Now, the body was found Tuesday in the waters off India Point Park by some members of Brown's crew team. Now, the family anxiously awaits the autopsy results, and ABC6 will be there to bring you the latest. We are live in Providence. John Geis, ABC 6 News. Thank you, John. A Providence family already grieving is once again dealing with pain. 19-year-old Dimitri Todd was shot to death in the capital city's third murder of the year. It happened on Harvard Avenue Tuesday evening. Todd was discovered shot about 30 feet from a Toyota Camry that had crashed into a pole. He was taken to Rhode Island Hospital where he was pronounced dead. This comes a month after his 20-year-old cousin, Wesley Smith, was also shot and killed. Both investigations are ongoing. The parents of the two suspects will be in the United States.